All right, so uh, we need to retrieve the debt from Mr. Donson. Oh, Downers. Whatever do you want? Often I'm spelling it right. But yeah. Hello, sir. Mr. Thomas Downs. You owe me money. Uh, oh no no I'm I'm I'm. Oh come here you maggot. Please sir, I'm. I'll... Really? Certainly. What the hell was that about? Please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Sir, all what you gotta do, just give me my money, and I'll be out of here. If you want the money, you'll have to wait. What do you mean I have to wait? Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Pay the money, you'll make this stop. Yeah, give, give him a slap, Arthur. Go on, mate. You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of <laughs> charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Exactly. You tell her, Arthur Morgan. You fucking tell her. Seriously, we ain't a charity, alright? Everybody pays with interest. Cause that's how the gang roll. Where you going, Arthur? Where are you fleeing to, bro? But we just started the episode. Maybe he's just having a bit of time to himself because he feels really, really bad about being up that guy. Here we go, back in camp. Let's ride in nice and slow now. I actually do feel bad though, like back in the day. If if you really couldn't pay you like what other options you got? Other? What the fuck was that about? <laughs> but yeah, you do feel bad because it's like the guy can't even sell his place. Like, what is he gonna do? I mean, all what he could do just work himself to death and output more vegetables and more fruit sort of a thing but um yeah it is what it is i do feel bad for him but we didn't have any other choice because we got a camp and we got too many mouse to feed ah how did you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Yeah, I think Arthur just told him off. I hope. Money lending and other two missions are done. Let's see what we got actually on the map. Hold on, let's just check out the map. So we got, I think this is Hosea. Oh, we got a new business opportunity. All right, let's head. Let's head down there. Where's our horsey Tony? Where is he gone? Oh no, sorry. Where is she gone? Because she's a female horse. But just get that right. Maybe we should just call her on a different name, but not now. Come over here, girl. Here we are in search of Hosea. Good day, sir. Hi there, mister. This is the Emerald Ranch. Got loads of uh, cows. I can't see a lot of cowboys around. 
Where are you, Hosea? Oh, hello, doggy. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. It's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I don't Let's do give so. uh, our baby girl a bit of a brush. A bit of loving. And I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I we need to also feed her, her, Arthur. Very Just let her ra rest sort of a thing, you know. Let her get some energy back. But I know how to get things done efficiently. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust having a me. conversation. An old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. This is By quite marriage. hilarious, though. <laughs> he keeps saying it's his cousin, but marriage. It, so... It is still his cousin. It's still his family. He's like, no, I'm cool with you robbing him because he's my cousin. But he's my cousin by marriage. Like, what the hell is wrong with the world, man? Like, seriously. He's still your family. Like, ain't really? gonna change that. Really? Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Oh, whoa, 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 Arthur. Oh, what? sorry, mister. Who are you calling dummy? Could have played that better, I'll whoop your you? ass for that. You Probably shoot you. Show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Well, you keep saying it too, Hosea. But just based that fact, you're like, oh yeah, if we can't rob his cousin by marriage. Jeez, it looks like um, he's putting some sort of a label to it now. But anyway. Uh, where are you, Jose? You keeping up, buddy? Jeez. Yeah, let's ask him about how he feels about how things. Feeling about things now? What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one in. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. Are we walking up here? That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Okay. Let's... Hold on, hold on. I'm going to get see something off my horse. Come on. I really dislike the normal gun. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Do okay. we just go in loud? Look at the place. Okay, and press 
R to view the item on the wheel. What? Oh, okay, okay, I see. You need to kind of like zoom out into it. Got binoculars, don't you? Yeah, I've got one. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather just do it during the day. Just because we got a lot of visibility sort of thing. All right, then. Don't follow me. No shit, Hosea. No shit. <laughs> Wait right. I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Probably just go all the way down here. Just so we are kind of ready. Gotta be a bit careful. My good young man. Gotta rob the house of forty-five dollars worth of items. Sure is. Get him down. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Father of the house. Sure. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here. Can you sell it what? partner? Please. Oh, here we go. Alignment. I'll take that indeed. I'll take a gold pocket watch. Oh, yeah. Do what the last straw got for us. No, nothing. Cabinets. Snake oil. Wow. Oh, what we got here? Chest. We always got. Valuable stuff in chess. Oh, money clip. And we got also some sort of a ring. That's good. Well, we stay low. We can't take that. Our fingers like quite full at the moment. Carrot. What's that even worth? A dollar? Maybe half a dollar? Stay down here a little. Won't take long. What we got here? No, we can't take any of that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Nah, let's not get into the personal stuff. A dance every night. See what we got upstairs. Oh, we got a chest. But they are in our backs too. Oh. Oh. I can tell you very well. Yeah, let me some let me have some of that. Let me have some of that, baby. Oh now we got 48. Okay. So is that it? Okay. Let's get to the barn and scene. Come on, Arthur. Move your ass. Move your bum bum. Give me a minute, sir. Don't oh, shit. What the hell is he doing? Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Hosea. Yeah. Uh, Damn. It's a little bit better. I didn't know things are going to get really touchy and shit. Can I get through here, maybe? We still have our rifle. Oh yeah. Just in case things go sideways sort of a thing.
they catch him maybe? Maybe not. We'll see ya. Where are you, bro? <laughs> Just in case. Maybe not. You done, oh, here he is. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Right. I hope you're ready. Yeah. This shit is about to get loud. Oh, 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 oh. Easy, get Arthur. We need to get out of here. Oh. I was trying to just call my horse. They're actually coming after us, though. Can't see nobody. Damn it, Arthur, you should have been more careful. You're gonna crash if you don't slow down. Okay, hold on. Let's just hide the gun. You must have left the dresser open. Let's act all normal. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Slow it down a bit. Need to get to places, Hosea. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Oh, 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 Which oh, oh, oh. wrong turn and sorry, my bad. Yeah, exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Get back on the damn road. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Right, watch the dog, Arthur. Watch the dog. The dog is a very important aspect over here. How was it? Can't be hearing that little beautiful dog. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah, I'll probably... No. No. I'll catch up with you later. I'm okay. gonna have to go around the map and see what is our next mission. Either way, see you later, Jose. Oh, okay. No, that's not bad. My share is 82. Oh, I'll take that. Let's go, girl. Search for Lily Millet in the branch. Okay. Maybe we could just ask around for Lily. It's good, we could actually do that while we're here, to be fair. But just ask around. Because we got somebody that needs to pay their bills. Hey there, partner. You bird brain son of a gun. I'm only joking with you. Wow. You don't really need to rob anybody. Hold on, where's... So it says it's got to be around here, surely. Let's just ask around. Is there any more cowboys around here? Hello? Nah. Or maybe we could ask them. Oh, that is Lily. Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? It's payback, bitch. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening damn murder. Son of a bitch. Hey. Uh, 
You're lucky I haven't got my hat on. I would have taken it really personally, though. Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you, buddy? Whoop his ass. Oh, you know what? Got an idea. What? Wait a minute, partner. Wait a minute. Oh, come on, Arthur, now. That was a knockout. Very, very nasty knockout. Take everything that you found on him and let's be done with it. Please. You made me do it, bitch. You made me do it. Leave me alone, won't you? Hey, you've got the debt. Law here about this. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Damn it. Yeah, it's a debt has been paid. Oi. Oh, oh shit, Arthur. God. How about that, buddy? You made a wrong turn. Oh, they just flee. But it's just never happened. Get the hell out of here before all the lawmen coming after us. Right, yo. So while we are in Valentine's, let's just go and visit the gun shop. We got about hundred and sixty dollars to. Oh wait, you're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. Yeah, because uh, someone ass got whipped. Now there's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? Well, I'm here to buy some guns, bro. Uh, we got about $160. So, uh, see what he's got in terms of... Oh. Some of them are actually locked, which is not really the best. Can we maybe, like, customize the one we actually got? Maybe. Um... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Nah, yeah, never mind. It's worth a shot. Okay. So, um... That's what we got. Let's select it. Get him to clean the weapon. Like so that's child, clean. Right? Good on you. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? No, we don't want to really customize... Ah, oh, here we go. That's going to make it a bit better, if that makes sense. That looks up like pretty ghetto, to be honest. So, iron sight. That's wow. Great. Okay. Styles? Nah, I'm not really interested. Yours? I like to keep it simple, nice and clean. Let's get some ammo for it. Up on extra there you go, ammo. sir. And how about... Clean that bad boy. Condition. Keep it up. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, we're just here to kind of uh, You'll be very upgrade as much as possible. Oh! A scoop! Yeah, I mean, that kind of improves the range. Smart addition. But, can't complain too much. Nah, we don't, we don't want to kind of... Uh, or should we maybe just put a bit of a leather topping on it? Leather topping, that just sounded so wrong. But anyway. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Now we got some kind of high voltage bullets. Also got a shotgun. We're just going to clean that up. We ain't going to overkill it too much. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Yeah, th th I mean, thank you, sir. That's all what we need for today, oh, sir. That's exactly all what we need, sir. And for now, let's um, head to see good old uh, Mary. Out of the way. 
And that is uh, just to kind of remind you of it. She's... Oh, my God. Arthur. I mean, look how badly you are looking now. And we were just about to go and see Mary, his ex. Like, seriously, Arthur, why are you doing this to me for? Is your face all right? Yeah, his face looks a bit dirty. I, I think we need to have a bath. But just go and have a bath quick. Hello again. Sir, you give us one of these uh, bath services because we need up to like freshen up over here. Over it's all the horse fault. Like, obviously, we can't really blame it all on Tony, but you know what I mean. All right. Look at Mr. Arthur. He's looking more fresh now. I'll make sure we don't actually have any kind of accidents on the way. Hell no, we got no time for that. Come over here, Tony, my beloved girl. Make sure you uh, keep it steady. We can't be falling anymore. Oh, no. Here it is. Here it is. Right, Arthur. Let's go and uh, check out good old Mary. Who is practically married. But, see how that goes. We loved once and true. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, Easy. Is, um... Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Wow. Linton? A collar for you. You don't want to be messing with that civilian. Hello, Arthur. Damn, she's looking good. Damn. Uh, I heard you and your friends was around. <laughs> I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. I bet he's Pneumonia. not sorry. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. He's broken daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, <laughs> Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Yeah, but just help her out. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. You already owe me your heart. I mean, I could tell... I don't know. I, I could tell, like, Arthur got a bit touched when he seen her sort of a thing. 
Um, and I quite don't like the fact she basically sent him a letter without mentioning at all the reason why she wants to see him sort of a thing. And um, yeah, I, I didn't like that. It's a bit sneaky. Oh, you can tell Arthur got feelings for her still. And um, yeah, when it comes to love, I got to tell you, Arthur's heart is a bit blind. In an absolute nutshell. Uh, I can see if I, I think if I just click no, maybe there will be uh, some sort of a bounce back or a buyback in general within the story. I hear her. It is what it is. But just go and uh, save Jamie. Or Jimmy? Jamie? Jimmy? Whatever his name is. Let's hit it, Arthur. Let's hit it. Hey there! Hey there, mister! Don't you be giving me any kind of, uh, you know, looks. I'll shoot you down for the for the sake out of it. Oh, sorry, lady. I gotta go and save uh, Mary's brother. Hey, right, looks like uh, they are a bit uphill. For some reason, I don't even remember this mission. Kind of uh, demonstrate how old I'm getting. So, yeah. What's my horsey? You're struggling a little bit. I know, I know, it's a bit high up. Let's see what these mad people are up to. What the hell? And what is Chelonian? No less than the recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> Gentlemen! Shell of safety. 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 Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Oh, really? Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Wow. I haven't decided yet about that. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Yeah, I got, I got no time for this shit. You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Yeah, I am. Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Oh, what are you going to do about it? Shall I save you? Lunatic. Just throw him off the fucking cliff. That's enough, Arthur! Now, kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure. Well, come home. No, not a chance! Aw, oh, don't run on me, son. Where is he going? I didn't ask for your help. I mean, I can hardly even see anything in this darkness. Jeez. Oh, come on, horsey. Let's speed up, Tony, in this weather. Come on, girl. That's a good girl. You, you keep up hey, with him. We gotta do this the hard way. They're just using you. Telling you what you wanna hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Wake up, buddy. Yeah. I was doing just fine by myself. It's quite fascinating how people are just sitting by the fire pit and just not even having a look at us and why the hell I'm chasing them for. Just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? What 
you going, buddy? Where you going? Just stop and let's talk about this. I don't have to answer to you. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Hush, girl. Me, crazy one. What are you talking about? Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. Yeah, and I'm worried about you too, fella. Where the hell is he going? Let's jump this off. This is none of your damn business. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. They ain't no more. Don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Yeah. We just like meant to get a rope out maybe and just oh shit all these cows oh watch out for the train you idiot please arthur i'm a man now i, I found something a calling you're just a kid you're making a big mistake i'm not taking advice from you you're an outlaw you leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Don't do it. What, what the hell? Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... What? I don't want to live anymore. Kid, what the fuck? calm down. Leave me alone. Oh, shit. Here we go. Let's throw it. Oh, that's nasty in the hand. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. He realizes he just fucked up in an absolute nutshell. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. She basically booty called me to save your ass, oh, Jamie. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jamie, come on. Wasting that money, dude. There might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. Hold on, hold on, buddy. I'm just trying to get our horse a bit back. Anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. <laughs> he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Hey, let's get him to marry in one piece. She's going to be very glad about this. Well, she better be. Otherwise, I'll be really offended. 
Get your ass inside, Jamie. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? I gotta agree. He, he was a bit nervous when he actually saw her, though. But, like, his heart bumped out and came back. I don't even know if that's a phrase. But maybe it is a phrase now, so... We going in, then? Jamie! Jamie! Come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. Just giving him that look. I've. You're. Oh, you'll never change. I know that. And his heart will never change either. You can tell there is that strong chemistry over there. Like he just stood there and he's like. Completely wired. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I told you. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Okay. So we loved once and true is done. I was in the army. Who's that calling in the army? Where's our horse though? Oh, here he is. Oh no, sorry. Here she is. My bad. Right, let's hit it now. And we could absolutely just fall off the, the good old horse if we needed to. We ain't seeing Mary anytime soon, so What's the yeah. Of this? Where are we going now, Arthur? Where are we going? Let's have a look what we got here. Oh god, we need to actually jailbreak Micah. Yeah, that that that's gotta be it's gotta be done. Because otherwise Dutch is gonna be all over our ass. And we don't want to go, be actually going back to cam and Dutch going, Oh, yeah. where the hell is Micah? I told you got a jailbreak Micah. Oh, what the hell is going on down there? Now we're just going to carry on. There's a lot of shooting. Ain't going to be our problem. We got enough problems of our own, Arthur. Oh, shit. Oh, really? Shoot the fool! In the head. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Let's just do multiple. Any more left? No? Right. Damn idiots. Just loot them really quick, Arthur. Just get the hell out of here. Them O'Driscolls. Sons of bitches. Oh, they got some money on them. Well, which is good. No, leave it alone, Arthur. No, I've asked you to actually loot him, Arthur. I did not ask you to go on the thing. Jeez. Come on, let's be quick about it before anybody comes in. You better shut up that pretty mask or 
Oi. Come over here, buddy. Let go of that poor woman, man. Jeez. Oh. What was that, Arthur? What was that about? Get me off this horse. That's all right, darling. There we go. I'm gonna drop you. Sir, please help me out of here. Uh, that's all right, madam. You know, because you obviously were screaming, so we, we kind of had to interfere. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it is over. Let's go, girl. Sometimes you just got to do a good deed and just help out people. It's just, Poor woman. you know, it won't cost much, especially with Arthur's skill. I mean, he's a real gunslayer, but... Let's face the fact, he's a real bad boy, sometimes. And he's a good cowboy sometimes, just the way it is. Oh, I don't like this. Is there anybody hiding for us here or something? No, there isn't. That's good, I like that. I like that. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we are in strawberry, strawberry, yeah, we are in strawberry, let's go and find that nutcase Micah, no, we're not jumping into a horse, oh no, we're not, excuse me fella, I, I mean no harm, what the hell's wrong with you buddy, keep moving, Right. Are we actually meant to do that and just go and ask? Oh, what? I really don't like this. Knocking on the sheriff door and just be like, we need our friend. Yep. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. I can't let that happen. Thank you, Sheriff. He was a bit rude, to be fair. Let me out of here, you maggots! He could hear his voice, Micah. <laughs> Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Yeah, we gotta do Maybe something to get you out for Dutch. Yeah, let's yeah. grab that hook. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. Oh, you need to be a bit patient, buddy. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Yeah. I mean, there's gonna be a fucking shoe out. That is 100%. Oh, Come on now. Using muscles. Does that work? Damn! It's like fire in the hole. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, brilliant. Okay. 
What was that? Equip what? I don't know. What the hell did I equip? But okay. I start shooting some people. Oh, in the face. I love it when it goes in the face. Right. Don't go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. The Trust fuck you. is wrong with you? Like, you seriously, Micah. Keep moving. Do I just shoot the horse ass? I feel bad. I, I didn't mean to. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? Oh. I'm over here, buddy. Did I just shoot him in the balls? I think I just shot him in the balls, but hey ho, it is what it is. Can't even see them very well. It's just it's all that rain and darkness. Oh, nasty. Really nasty. Hey, what are you shooting at, fella? Well, that's exactly what I'm doing. We should have actually long gone by now, but you're Majesty wants to uh, get some sort of fucking revenge. Where are we going? A house call. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get some health in, in us just in case. But seriously, now? Get out here! I wonder why everybody hates fucking Micah. Choosing the wrong place, the wrong time, the wrong occasion. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. The hell is he doing? Fucking maniac. I would just so un fucking necessary. They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of his I can just you fucking chew him now, but Dutch will have some sort of a fucking patty. I here we go. Things getting really nasty in here. God damn these fools. Ah! No, it's not these fools, it's just you, buddy. Who wants to see me hang? Like, we need to get on our horses and get the fuck out of here. Like, seriously. Here we go. Oh, no, that was just a horse, Arthur. What, why the hell are you shooting him for? Don't have much Jeez. Can't to the horse. Oh, what, why the hell did we just toggle that? Wow, that that was crazy tense. Oh, in the arm. That is in the shoulder. That is like catastrophic. See you later, buddy. Okay. Woo! Let's get out of here before we get any more on our tail. Oh, we need to refuel our red dead eye. Oh, that was our dead eye, sorry. Shooting, Hold on, why the hell that didn't just refuel? Oh, here we go. That's better. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Maybe it was just full Got anyway. Wild, all right. Wow. Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. 
Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutchie's got your back. For some unknown reason. He's damn lucky he got Dutch. Oh. I and think his back. We oh yeah. Lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court just right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now, Arthur. You and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. Bye now. Yeah. Guess is bye for now, Micah. And he is a world class piece of shit. I just did not feel at all it was necessary to kill that lady inside the house. But I completely understand killing her husband or partner. But to actually kill the lady? just completely unjustified and yeah i'm i'm a bit yeah. pissed off about it to be honest 